watch this road There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, I used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Howdy, neighbor. Welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn, and I'm so glad you've tuned in today. I know so many people are thinking about good things this time of year. At least you should be, be thinking about peace and love and joy because, hey, it's Christmas time. We should be thinking about things like that. And that's one reason why I really enjoy this time of year because so many people are thinking good thoughts and they're thinking about helping people and just reaching out. You know, the greatest thing that's ever happened to mankind is when Jesus Christ came into this earth. But it's, it's just, it's so wonderful and, and it's so wise the way he did it. He came and he was born as a babe in Bethlehem. You know, he didn't come as a, 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 an adult king, you know, coming on a white horse down the streets of Jerusalem, but he came as a little babe in Bethlehem, and most people didn't realize that he had came. And so it was just a, a wonderful uh, thing full of the wisdom of God, the way he did it. And so uh, I want to conclude today what I've been sharing with you on the miracle in a manger. That's what we call it, a miracle in the manger. It was a supernatural birth. It was an unexpected birth by some. It was a humble birth, and it was also a welcomed birth by some. And so, again, I want to conclude uh, our teaching today on this. So get on the phone, call your friends and neighbors, and remind them the Good News Program is coming on. First of all, I'm going to share a song with you, Beautiful Star of Bethlehem, one of my favorite songs I love to sing around Christmas time. So you enjoy this song and this teaching segment, and I'll be back in a few moments to share a very special offer with you. Stay tuned now. Beautiful star of Bethlehem Shining afar through shadows dim Giving the light for those who long have gone Guiding the wise men on their way Unto the place where Jesus lay Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Oh, help me sing it. Beautiful star, Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawn. Give us the light. The good and blessed Yonder in glory Where the crown is won Jesus is now that star divine Brighter and brighter He will shine Beautiful star of Bethlehem Shine Oh, beautiful star, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawn. Give us the light to light the way into the land of perfect day. Beautiful star. 
So it was a supernatural birth. It was an unexpected birth. It was a humble birth. And lastly, it was a welcomed birth. It was welcomed by Mary and Joseph, welcomed by the shepherds. It was welcomed by the angels who celebrated and declared to God, glory to God in the highest on earth, peace and goodwill to men. It was welcomed by the Magi from the east, they expressed their acceptance and joy by worshiping the baby king. Now, the greatest thing that we can do today to express our gratitude is the same thing, to worship the king. He desires your worship. He desires my worship. When we come together like we did this morning, it blesses the heart of God when we close our eyes and lift our hands and we just focus upon him and thank him for his goodness and his mercy that endures forever. Oh, it blesses him so much. And just to think that we lowly human beings can do something to touch the heart of God? Amen. Yes, we can. What is man that thou art mindful of him? But we are special in the eyes of God. He does desire for us to touch him. And the way to touch him is through our worship, through our adoration. Can you say amen? He was welcomed by the prophet Simeon. A law-abiding Jews in obedience to the Mosaic law as Mary and Joseph were, they went to the temple. And there at that temple, they met an old, old prophet. Some say he was probably the last Old Testament prophet. And he stayed in the temple just praying and seeking God. Now, some say, well, why did they go to the temple? Well, to worship, of course. But there were several ceremonies that a Jewish couple had to go through. And I'm not going to take the time to explain each one, but one was circumcision. The Every boy was circumcised and named on the eighth day after birth. They did that. Then number two, they did what's called the redemption of the firstborn. A firstborn son was presented to God one month after birth. And then there was the purification for the mother. Number three, for 40 days after the birth of a son and 80 days after the birth of a daughter, the mother was ceremonially unclean and could not enter the temple. And at the end of her time of separation, the parents were to bring a lamb for a burnt offering and a dove or a pigeon for a sin offering. So they had all of these things to go through at the temple. And while they're there, they meet this man called Simeon who was waiting for the Messiah. He had been waiting for the Messiah for years. Now listen to Luke 2.25. And behold, there was this man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout waiting. Somebody say waiting. This word waiting in, in the Greek means literally to be alert to his appearance and ready to welcome him. Amen. And it was revealed, the scripture goes on to say, well, well, first it goes on to say, for the consolation of Israel is what he was waiting for. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Glory to God. Could you imagine God saying, now you ain't leaving here till this happens. Imagine that. And you could say, boy, I tell you, I really feel secure because I know I ain't going to die until this thing happens, just like the Lord told me. Well, you know what we can say today? I'm not leaving here till God's plan is through in my life. We need to have that attitude. 
whether I'm, whether I'm 50 or whether I'm 100, I'm not going here until God's plan is through. Whenever that, whenever that happens, that's what Paul said, whenever that happens, then I'm ready to go. Amen. Oh, he was waiting. He was expecting, amen. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, verse 27, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then Simeon took him up in his arms and he blessed God and he said, Lord, now let thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for my eyes have seen thy salvation. Ha, ha, hallelujah. Hallelujah that you have prepared for the, before the face of all people. This is a light to lighten the Gentiles. He's, look, he, he's got Jesus like this. And he says, this is the light to lighten the Gentiles. Thank God he included us. He didn't just say the Jews, but he included us. This is the light to, to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of the people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Well, what would you think if all of a sudden an old man came and grabbed your baby and started ranting and raving? Amen. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thine own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And what he was talking about there is th talking about his crucifixion, talking about there would be some things that would hurt Mary, and mainly the crucifixion. Good things would happen and hurtful things will happen, including many people re would reject him. There would be some that would accept Jesus, but you know as well as I do, many rejected him, just like they do today. So what was Simeon? He was a righteous and just man. He was devout, God-fearing, and the Holy Spirit was upon him uh, as an Old Testament prophet, and he had eagerly been expecting the Messiah. But then there was one more person that was in the temple, as a matter of fact, and her name was, does anybody remember her name? Uh-huh, that's right. She was a, and get this, a prophetess. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brother Mike, it, or is there such thing as a prophetess, a woman prophet? Well, here she be right here. Amen. God uses women too. And thank God for it because if he didn't, us men would be in trouble. We need all the help we can get. Amen. Thank God for the women, especially back, back then and, you know, in, in different centuries when it wasn't as popular. Thank God for the women that stood up for the truth and stood up for God. It says she was a prophet as she was a widow for 84 years, a worshiper. And she didn't depart from the temple, but she served God in fastings and prayers night and day. Verse 38 says, and coming in that instance, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all those who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. So what did she do? She began to proclaim the Redeemer is here. I've been here for 84 years. I've been praying. I've been serving the Lord. I've been waiting for the Messiah. I've been waiting for the Redeemer, and he's here. The Redeemer is here. Hallelujah. And so Simeon and Anna were witnesses of God to Mary and Joseph, and to everybody else around them that the promised Messiah had arrived. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that teaching, talking about a miracle in a manger. Thank God that Jesus came into this world and he came to die for us sinners. If it wasn't for that, we would be lost in our sin. We would be lost for eternity. But because Jesus came to that old rugged cross and he died for us, we can have an assurance that we can live for eternity with Christ. We can have total forgiveness and a complete pardon. But Jesus did it all for us. As the song said, Jesus 
paid it all. I trust that you have accepted his free gift of eternal life. All you have to do is ask for it and then it becomes yours. So if you have never prayed this little prayer, why don't you pray with me right now? Say, Heavenly Father, that's right, it's just a simple little prayer. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He came into this earth. He was born of a virgin. He grew up. He went to an old rugged cross, and He shed His blood for the sins of the world. And I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart and life, be my Savior, and be my Lord right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Friend, if you prayed that prayer or something like it, the Bible says you are now a child of God. That's right. You are in His family. And all the benefits and the privileges of a son now belongs to you. And I want to rejoice with you by offering you this free little book entitled, Now What? This will tell you what it means to be saved and also has some little pointers that will help you start your new walk with the Lord. It's time to get to know your Heavenly Father now and to know the, the, the different things that He wants for your life. He has so many benefits available for you. So call me today at 888-429-2280 and request this free little book entitled, Now What? I'm so glad that you've accepted Jesus as your Savior and Lord, but we want to know about it. So call us right now, 888-429-2280. If I'm not in the office, then leave your information on the machine. We'll be glad to mail it right to you, but also leave a callback number in case we don't hear plainly all your information and we can call you back and get that information and send this book right to you. I'm excited about what Jesus is doing in hearts and lives today. You know, that's what the main thing this program is all about, to make sure that people receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, because He's the greatest thing that's ever happened to this world. And you know, that's one thing that I like about the Christmas season so much, because so many people are thinking about when Jesus came into this world, how He was born a babe in Bethlehem, and then He grew up, and He went to that old rugged cross. And I always call the cross is God's Christmas tree. That's right. And the gift of eternal life was not under the tree, but it hung on a tree. And I'm so glad that I have accepted him. How about you? Well, I want you to come be with us for our next concert right here at the Good News Fellowship Church in Tickfall, Louisiana. It's be coming up January the 4th. This will be our first concert of the brand new year. I'll be singing and my special guest will be the Allen family. And you don't want to miss this one. The Allen family, remember, used to have their own reality show on the TLC network. A lot of you probably seen them on there. And so we're looking forward to having them with us once again, January the 4th. And go to our website and check out the information on that, mvmgoodnews.com. And this is the last time I'll be sharing our special offer with you. All of our CDs and our DVDs, 50% off for this month of December only. So call us today if you want to uh, get your last minute gifts, the CDs or DVDs for 50% off. And let us know which ones you would like. Call us at 888-429-2280. Once again, that number is 888-429-2280. If no one is in the office, please leave that call back number and someone will return your call real soon. Once again, this is the last time we'll be offering this special CD and DVD offer for the month of December. All CDs and DVDs, 50% off. Now partners, I never like to close our program without saying a special thanks to you because you are the ones that make this outreach ministry possible. We couldn't do what we do without your prayers and without your financial support. Thank you so much for standing with us this year. So many hearts and lives have been touched and people saved and blessed because you gave and because you prayed. Thank you for standing with us and I trust you will continue to stand with us as we go into this brand new year. 
And I know there are many that have been blessed by this program and you hadn't become a partner yet. Please pray about becoming a partner if you want to help us to take this gospel to the nations. I know we can't do it all, but we want to just do our part. So if you want to help us, give us a call or go online and read more about partner information at mvmgoodnews.com. And when you're on there, be sure and check us out on Facebook and you can watch the Good News program on the YouTube channel. And so be sure and check out all those good things as well. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much, Lord, this Christmas season for my wonderful friends and partners that are watching today by television, those listening by radio and internet. And I pray, Lord, that you will fill their hearts and their homes with your abundant grace and your peace. Lord, that you would heal the sick, that you would strengthen the weak by your mighty power and by your anointing. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We do trust everybody here at Mike Vaughn Ministries and the Good News Fellowship Church trust that all of you have a wonderful Christmas season full of God's grace and God's peace. And I want you to know that we are praying for you. Thank you so much for being such a blessing to us and to this ministry. And I'm going to leave you with some songs now some beautiful Christmas songs, and I trust that you will enjoy them, and then I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. God bless you.
Merry Christmas, everybody. Shepherds kept their watching over silent blocks by night. Behold, throughout the heavens they shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lowly manger, the humble Christ was born. He brought us God's salvation, the blessed Christmas morn. Go till it on the mountains, over the hills, and everywhere. Go till it on the mountains, the Jesus Christ is born. Jesus Christ is born. Oh, yes, he is. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466 or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com. And our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember, this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. I used to be singing the blues, but now I'm singing the news. I'm singing the news. I'm singing the good news. I'm singing the news. I'm singing the good news.